two good questions and two big concerns for the technological industry indeed. Um, on the remuneration aspects, the first question you need to ask really, if you send somebody, if you post somebody from one country to the next, you first have to see which is the applicable collective agreement. And that is going to be a nightmare to find out. It should be on a national website, but it remains to be seen if you're really going to find the correct collective agreement that is going to be applicable. When you have it, you have to find out where do I place my worker into that function classification system of that collective agreement. Uh, there could be a matter of experience, it can be a matter of uh, education, level of degrees that you would have, and then you can be placed in a function classification system of another country. But you'd have to really understand already this function classification system of the collective agreement of the host member state before you can actually say, okay, this is the remuneration that I have to take into account. And then it's not only the minimum salary of this function classification system of the collective agreement, it's all the elements of remuneration. And this is going to be a very well, hard battle to find out what is the correct remuneration for my employee. But we have a good solution for that, actually. We propose to the Commission um, that maybe they could make an EU remuneration calculator and maybe into the ELA, the European Labour Authority, that has been created right now, it's been decided, they could have an EU remuneration calculator. And then, for instance, if you post an engineer from Poland to Germany, you know the remuneration of your Polish employee, you put it into the EU remuneration calculator, and then you will know what is the remuneration in Germany, for instance. And that would be very good for the company, they would have legal security, for the employee, because they would know what is the salary that I am, have the right to, and also for the social inspectors to really see this is the wage that should have been paid. So it would be a good solution to a very technical and difficult problem. There should not be any difference between Eastern European states and Western European states. That's really a division that is in the, in the public mind, that is really in the pol political debate. But in practice, in reality, it really depends, it doesn't really matter for long-term postings if you are going to be posted from a, uh, a Polish uh, company or if you're going to be posted from a, a French company. Because the rules will be the same. So there should not be any difference for long-term postings according to the, the country that you were uh, hosted from. Thank you.